female privilege is devastating to men. But every once in a while, a woman or a little girl gets sacrificed to female privilege. I'm going to show you two cases, this little girl here and this elderly mother, grandmother here, right? They were sacrificed to female privilege, okay? So if you don't know this couple, the McCanns, the mother uh, unintentionally caused the death of her little girl, and then she, she and her husband fabricated a story, right? A false one. And people know it's false, right? And guess what? Scotland Yard, this, ha these, this couple, this happened to them in Portugal, and Scotland Yard swooped in to protect this woman. Okay, so let's get in. I want to start here because the detective that, of course, called this bullshit out, he suffered for it. Portuguese system any longer. And at that point, everything sort of changed. And so Gonzalo Amaral went out after that and he did write his book he wrote his book here you can see him on the left with his book the uh, the truth of uh, the tr uh, uh, the truth of the line uh and he that book was pulled was it uh, the, the mccann's had the carter ruck their their attorneys uh, uh, go after him and they had the book pulled from the market and they su they sued him for libel and it was a real nasty mess uh, on the right you'll so first this detective knows his bullshit, wrote a st story on it, and they're rushing to sue him, right? See, my book, which is called, the, which is called Profile of the Disappearance of Madeleine McCann, you cannot find that in Amazon because I was also Carter Rucked. Uh, the, the McCanns went after me on Amazon. I had the book pulled. However, you can find it at Barnes & Noble and Kobo and Smashwords and Apple and other places. Now, the reason I want to bring this up is that Gonzalo Amaral, gave his theory about the McCann's involvement and he stuck to it. He's the hero of this entire story. He you hear that guys? This man is the hero because he called out their bullshit story. Right? And he's society is punishing for it. He is a hero. He never backed down. Now he said he this was a theory. He purported a theory which Jerry said was okay. He, my own words of Jerry, you have the right to purport a theory, but even if you have that right, we're going to sue the crap out of you. <laughs> so, so Gonzalo Amaral went through absolute hell in his life. Hell. Uh, he he was he was no longer on that on, on the case. Uh, they pulled him from the case. Uh, he, he had he, he lost a ton of money. His marriage faltered. I mean, everything was just. Notice it's always the same thing. He lost a ton of money, then his marriage faltered. Right. His wives, I will say it over and over again, aren't about principles. They're about being taken care of by their servant. If their servant can't take care of them, they dump them. Extraordinarily difficult. Um, I met Gonzalo. I went to Portugal. I got to meet with Gonzalo. We were talking about doing an English version of a book. I went to my agent. Um, she was enthusiastic. Uh, it was called The Mystery of Madeline. Uh, we, we were going to put this out as the detective on the case and as the profiler who also had written a book about this. So two people had written a book about the case coming together for the English version. And uh, we could not get a publisher to touch it. They were like, oh, no, no. You see, this guy from female worship is worldwide. It's society ingrained. These people are pr printing the truth and they're against that. Why? Because a woman committed the crime. She's lied. And they're going to support her. They don't care about this little girl. They care about this grown woman. Okay? That's, you have to understand that. By the way, guys, if McCann here was a single father, he would have been jailed long ago. He would have been jailed from the get-go. No, no, we're not going there because because of the, the problem with the lawsuit issue, and they just weren't willing to take the risk. So we never put that book out. Luckily, uh, Gonzalo got his book back on the market. He won in the, in the court, um, finally, and he had a fight through court after court, going higher and higher. He won. They had to go higher and higher, right? The lower courts are about protecting female criminals. in the court, uh, and his book is returned, and he's also, I think, got the second one out 
and I recommend everybody go into the search engine and put in Gonzalo Amaral, PDF, Truth of the Lie, and you can find an English version of that. Um, and so he has always stayed the course, regardless of what happened to him. Now, so this guy wouldn't do this unless he was absolutely sure that this woman caused the death of her daughter. Now, I cannot say that is true for Portugal. What this is because this happened in Portugal. The Portuguese police were pushing to that direction too. And guess what? Scotland Yard, that which has no business in this case, stuck their nose in there and bullied Portuguese uh, authorities. How do I say this? All right. So do you remember when, after a period of time, Scotland Yard showed up in Portugal, uh, Operation Grange? And so they came in and they came in and this is this is the big, huge key. They came in on a remit, the remit, which is a political tool, said they were to look at this case as an abduction as an abduction so therefore the mechanic they want the woman off the hook they want the mother off the hook that's why they're saying object that was their story there was that was their bullshit story that the detective knew was bullshit they said oh someone adopted our daughter right and were not to be looked at mind you by the way a lot of the media sources have said that the mccann's have been cleared by portugal they have never been cleared they're no longer quote, are guidos or suspects, but they're also not cleared. This is the gray area that the Portuguese have decided to, to hang around in. And I think it's lies by omission, right? They want a uh, society to think this woman is innocent. I, I always say the woman because they don't care about the man. If, again, if he was a single father, if Miss McCann wasn't involved, he'd be in jail by now. I think this is purely political. So once, once Gonzalo is off the case, and the, the UK came in. Now, here's the point. She's right. This is pure political. But what politics are they? Right? This woman has nothing special about her other than her gender. So Scotland Yards, that is the disgusting British Isles again, and that includes Canada here where I live, the Western world are female worshippers, and they're going to make sure this woman gets off the hook. They came in on a remit that said it is an abduction. Right there at that moment in time is where Portugal caved to begin with. Because this was their case. This is a Portuguese case in the country of Portugal, none of the UK's business. If their people <laughs> want to come visit another country and something happens in that other person's country, it's really that country's case. But when Portugal, permitted the UK to, to permit Scotland Yard to come into their country to do a quote review. But the review was based on these two cannot be suspects. It has to be an abduction. When they kowtowed to that, that right away said to the world, if Portugal isn't going to fight that, if Portugal is going to allow these two people to be removed as suspects, and go along with Scotland Yard's remit that this is an abduction. They are effectively saying to the world, this is an abduction. That's right. They did cave in. But you have to understand, what's this? This is profiling with Pat Brown. She does good work, by the way, everyone. So I'm just borrowing her video here. These Portuguese wouldn't have caved in unless it was a case of female worship. If this was just a, a regular, you know, well, I should say regular, but something that only had men involved, they would tell Scotland Yard to bug off. And Scotland Yard wouldn't be there in the first place. This is important, see? It just hammers home my point. Mary McCann's, it was an abduction. So Portugal, you're in on it. And why are all these countries in on this without evidence? And I say all comes down to politics. Has yeah, it does. But Pat Brown doesn't say what the politics are. Like, what's the affiliation? Right? This is feminist 
politics. A woman can commit whatever crime she wants. That's what these politics are, right? Uh, I've had, I've seen other YouTubers where they they, they she uh, ended up drugging her child just so they could go out for a time. And she probably overdosed the kid and, and killed him. And the father probably hid the body, right? But it's probably the mother who's truly guilty. And the father, and know why I say that? Because father, husbands will do anything to keep the wife around. If he had been the one who drugged the little girl, she wouldn't have uh, defended him. She would have uh, turned on him. You know, I want you to know that. Now we'll get into this grandmother, right? Three of the four Louisiana teens who carjacked and dragged 73-year-old grandma to her death will serve just, just 15 years in prison after striking a plea deal. Why would they be giving a plea deal at all? This was caught on camera, everybody. They're caught red-handed because there's three out of the four are teenage girls. So why aren't they saying four out of four? Right, three out of the Louisiana team, one of them was a guy, so I suspect he was not offered a plea deal. Right, right, okay. Let's see, they mentioned these names of the victims. Three teams dealt a, a 20 year prison sentence and we serve at least 15 years each. The guilty plea comes more than a year after Fricky's gruesome death. Oh, yeah, her name is Fricky, by the way. In which her arm was severed. What happened, they maced her, assaulted her physically, and then tried to take out the car when her arm was still lopped inside the seatbelt. And they dragged her until her arm pulled off, right? So people are getting up in arms, right? But the thing is, I want to point out is that in the comment section, some people, there's our heroes world, there's, there's the girls there. S heroes are coming up and some people are bringing race into this, right? If this were my grandma, there would be a law-abiding citizen event coming. Now, this guy has a right. People are getting upset. They're saying, why are these teenagers allowed to get away with this right because it's obvious they're girls it's the judges and prosecutors that need to be held accountable i i agree with you rich the pop i agree with you 100 percent. that's why these young girls are getting a slap on the wrist right <laughs> now Look, I advise everyone to keep a copy of this in their pockets so they can constantly remind you about the world we live in now, right? But that's very neutral, isn't it? They, no one mentions the gender dynamics, and there'll be people that are going to put racism in here, which really pisses me off. Okay, this guy might have come close. My brother was given 25 years for drugs. Our justice system is a joke. Yeah, it was your brother, Salt. It's a guy. Exactly. <laughs> this guy calls it out. The prosecutor offered a deal and the judge accepted it. This kind of tag team is corruption everywhere. Yeah, but how's it corrupt, right? It's corrupt in that it protects female criminals. That's why it's crap. But at least he called out that, that what's going on. This woman, of course, is why only 15 years, right? <laughs> you see, th this woman knows better. People do know better, right? They need to stay in prison until they're as old as the woman. I agree with that. But I'll get to the ones where people, of course, try to bring racism into it. Right here, here's one of them. Wow, 15 years. Imagine if the races re were reversed. Now, what pisses me off so much is that, look, Black men get incarcerated more than anyone. 
even black women get incarcerated more than Hispanic and white. So this is this is not about race whatsoever. This is not about race. These are young girls, and society has decided we want to worship the opposite sex. We want them to get away with murder, with crimes. We don't want to punish them for anything, period. Period. She was the wrong color, and they were the right color. Not surprised by this outcome. It's foul. See, another one. So you see, it's not, not just a one-off, everyone. People will use this to hijack their own obsessions. But it's so obvious. This elderly woman and this helpless little girl were sacrificed for female worship. Grown women and uh, teenage girls. That's what's going on here. So unless men get together and start working for proper change, this is only going to get worse. Because, you know, these, these women, they're the rarity. They're the small minority. The vast majority of people who suffer are men over this. And we're men, so we can't escape this. Okay.